Hi YouTube, uh, just uh, solved a problem that has been bothering me for a couple of days. Uh, it's regarding to my boom lift. This is the Genie S60. Um, it is, I think it's a 2006 and uh, all of a sudden it just won't start. Um, I'm gonna show you what the problem is and then I'm gonna work backward. The problem, I mean, okay, let, first of all, won't start means it doesn't crank it doesn't even um it doesn't even make the motor it, it makes no noise whatsoever actually so uh so this is what i did okay so when i put this into the base control and um, and then i flip over the switch right here to the right that's supposed to start the engine and what's going on there is that um I thought initially that the battery is low. It's not low, it's actually 12.9 uh, is the current voltage. And when I look at the uh, control here, uh, I noticed that, I don't know if you can see there, that's number seven is on when I uh, have the key turned to the base and the mushroom switch is pulled out. Uh, seven is on, which means that it's a uh, two key SW switch um i guess it's ready to go and um and when i flip this on and nothing happened so what what's going on is that, that this light was actually very dim and then when i took my multimeter uh to number 33 right here 33 is the um voltage or signal that goes to this relay right here uh on the s60 relay number one is the ignition start and when I measure the voltage here using a multimeter like this and I stick it into this hole here on 33 and I put the other lead to a ground like that one right there, um, it measures only 1.8 volt, which is very strange. And uh, I thought, okay, well, I have a voltage issue. Maybe I have a short somewhere or something. And again, it, what gives me the clue is that this uh, light here was very dim. So I went looking, looking, and I couldn't find anything. And I finally had a had a um, a hunch that these two switches here looks like some kind of circuit breaker. Um, it's probably not working right because it's just so freaking hard. Uh, this one right here, especially. So and uh, so I start taking this out this this uh, lead here I took it out and push it back in um, and then I did the same on this one too and the light immediately turned much brighter so there's got to be something going on with my circuit breaker here I don't know what this thing is so it's basically this switch right here with this bump symbol um, I think maybe it's a uh, it's, it's some kind of breaker um, uh, level maybe is a leveling uh, break. I'm not sure. I'm gonna look it up But that's definitely the problem right there once I take it out and push it back kind of reset it the, the light turns Bright red the voltage is good right now when I measure it here at 33 is throwing 12.6 and um, uh, And then I can start it just fine right now uh Oh Look like I'm having the same problem again Okay, it's back on again. Uh, yeah, so as I was creating the video, I was playing around with that, whatever the switch is right here. And sure enough, the light turns off and it won't crank. So now it's back to bright light. It's still not gonna crank. Wow, what's going on here? Yeah, that switch definitely needs to be changed because it is so finicky. Um, just by touching and pushing this up and down on the terminal, it actually would allow my bullet to start or not start. That is pretty crazy. All right, so I took it out. This is the switch that is causing the problem and it was 
I think oriented this way like that I don't know if it matters which which way is up actually I think it's this way yeah so I'm gonna find out what this is and uh, buy a replacement so that uh, this will not be causing a problem anymore thank you for watching this video I hope you find it useful if this was your problem also I uh, hope this video solved your problem if not sorry and um, please give it a thumbs up if it does and subscribe to my channel appreciate it thank you for watching please subscribe to my channel to see more do-it-yourself video like these and support my channel thank you